rocket flares. Trying to hit the Monkey King. Does not get a connection there. Onslaught, though. They find Stormstormer. Right clicks and... A little bit of a counter spell action. They get the kill on the Stormstormer. They're going to look over at Yuma. He's going to pop the BKB. He's so does XXX. Damage. Sticky bomb. Another Doom on in. XM. Dang, this is <laughs> cyber bullying how much he wants to go after XM with that Doom. He's going to try and run away. So is XXS. But the hookshot connects. They get the kill on the XXS. They're looking over at Gunner. The Mana Void used. Yuma ends up dead. Gunner's going to fall him to the grave. They've gotten themselves two. XM falls. They'll chase after Fly. The balance strike for the back line. Triple kill for Ame. And four heroes are dead on the side of now. See it, and the Watcher is going to scout them. They're thinking, like, maybe we can go in here, but Whisper trying to break the smoke. Did you see DY on the front side? He gets the nice ward plays. The Orchid comes out, but can he burst him? He's trying his best. It's not enough. XXX pops the BKB, and you've lost your Timber Saw. Just gets destroyed on the back side here by Ame and DY, and now BZM in trouble. Just getting walked down. Four staff number one, not enough to save him, and in comes Jin Q. He's got the damage. Time lapse does come through for the moment, but Yuragi's on the run. Can he survive? He's trying his best, but it's not nearly enough. Ame with this BKB, Jin Q with the damage and you leave Ari to the Sharks, man. This is the worst fight for OG. Their, their 9k gold lead instantly gone as Roshan, if it's a quick respawn as well, is a disaster. Will Scout DY as well as XXS. The bugs will come through. In comes Whisper once again to try and get on top of him, but a, the Lotus Orb actually putting him to sleep for the moment. In comes XM off of that uh, Boots of Travel. Good Glyphere holding in place, but they've got the Weaver. He gets the time lapse off, but he's still at least staying on top of Seb. It's going to be Zin Q just beating him down, and Yuragi's going to get isolated as well. You said it, man. Zin Q just absolutely destroying this Wisp. He has no way to play this game as the rebound comes in. They get Ari and Whisper. On the run, he's got to get to safety, but Ame, I don't he's think he's going to let him. Gets the first pounce. He's got the... Yeah, he's Hold got the ahead. kill. No, the cold snap, Whisperer. Oh, in comes XS. He gets a very nice stun onto two. The Weaver and the Io trying to get away. They're protected for the moment. Yuragi forced to pop that time lapse. But him. Ame's just staying on top of him. The Force Staff will get him to safety. They actually managed to control off the backside. A great bushwhack onto two as Whisper gonna go in, but the chase continues. Ame gets on top of the Weaver. He's gonna die. His buyback will be committed. And you've caught the Timber Saw as well. His buyback not available. XXX, a body just keeping them at bay. He's gonna turn around with his own BKB. XM doing the work as well as the base will crumble. That is the best case scenario here for Extreme Gaming. If they can get out, they've already managed to claim Mega Creeps. Jeez, on Viper. As he jumps in, he gets the stomp, and the Weaver goes down. That's a dieback, and honestly, it might be the end of the game, and they call the GG. Extreme Gaming claiming this one. Well, XXS getting close to Shiva, which is of course a it's banger of an item. Gank here, Bach is there with the full combo, Shackle. Ooh! But Hand he's of out of there, and they're gonna turn this around with XM getting a nice Laguna Blade onto Faith Beyond, oh. who's also barely gonna live! Chrono oh, Spear on the three, perfect placement! Oh Beautiful my song. god, it literally could not have been any better than that. And they're gonna get three off the back of just a gorgeous, Gorgeous Chronosphere, make it four now, and just like that, those courier kills mean something again. Yeah. <laughs> no, that now, was that was a, Ame uh -oh. looking for another amazing Chronosphere. He's gonna get silenced first. Now he's gonna try to focus on the Grim Stroke. Or he's there with the Dragon Tail. LSA's got the Solar Guardian coming in as well. Jin Q oh. with a very powerful Wukong's command. All those couriers killed for this, and now Ori stuck inside will die three for nothing. And just look at the HP on everyone for extreme. No one is even low. And oh, they haven't even used called. Hand of Gaben yet. GG called. I can't blame him. This was quite the game. I can't blame him either. Literally this for
XM's just gonna go right on in. They get the double silence off. Yuragi in a little bit of trouble. BZM's gonna onslaught aggressively, but it's the backside where XXS, he's gonna be able to chrono up too. I'm sorry, Arena up to it. Oh, what a spear. The refresher, like you said, counting down, pulverize their instant tongue. He needs to cancel it out. And Yoragi is just dead without able to use a single Chrono Spear. And now Seb, he's walking in. Maybe I can throw a black hole, but DY at the ready. It's just absolute onslaught here from uh from Extreme Gaming. Amplify it's damage. Not... This is your this is it. This is all you've got here to try and win this game. Zinq on the backside pushed away. Yuragi going in, but just getting absolutely controlled up a hex into an arena. The spear ends up missing. That's buying him probably the best case scenario. You're gonna lose Seb first. Jin Q getting chased down by his hands made illusion. There's gonna be a mana void to find the kill. Instant buyback. As Yuragi, thinking of going back in, they're going to try and stay on top of Ame. XM gets caught by BZM onto the backside. We are in the bird's eye view here. So many fights happening, but there it is. XM deleting the Faceless Void. You do not stand a chance against this guy. Ari trying to get BZM to safety. Jin Q will push him right back in. Onslaught canceled by XXS once again. There's the black hole instantly stolen from DY. He's waited all game for this moment as the GG Thanks will the come out. being able to move, and let's see if Extreme can try to turn this around uh -oh. as Faith Beyond is greeted by XM. There's a lot of as stuff the coming. Searing change, Jin Q and the rest of the team are surrounding him. Blast off comes through, but a nice swap. Keep Bach alive, but the hoof stop oh, connects onto three heroes, double edge, hits two, and now Azure Ray trying to run away. XM's gonna finish off the Venge. Bach is next, and this is just disaster town for Azure Ray. Ori with absolutely no mana. Boom. will be brought down as well. Get some sort of a counter initiation, FY. Okay, Wisdom Rune is what they're kind of baiting here. Hoof Stomp to start things Good out, swap. but a nice swap to save him for the time being. And the Kanka is getting decimated. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're all three dead. Blue drops, FY as well. Just like in the blink of an eye, three dead. Finger of Death gets the fourth. Tormentor, the way of Azure Ray disrupt well. that. Perhaps. Yeah, like maybe disrupt some combos, maybe build it into a Wind Waker later, because you feel like Azure Ray rely on killing one hero. That's Tian Ming. Yeah, he is mega dead. Hoof Stomp connects onto the TA. They're going to use Stampede to try to counteract the initiation from FY. He's dead too. And they'll be successful, so two for nothing Fight again. for them. They either find their targets and they take down Extreme, but the Radiant, the scan comes out perfectly. The Luna Illusion trying to find him. The no. Quill comes out. It's baited, and they get the they get both Yonero and the Puck. He will be able to get the BKB, but Poshka falling well as well. The Stampede comes through. The Lasso as well. Laurel falls, collapse on the run. He's going to die as well. 5 4 1. That, we you know, we said it was the make or break fight, and my goodness, Spirit.